Hello everyone, very good morning and good evening. Welcome to our SAP PP, de PP demo session. We'll be starting with the journey. I would be first explain you that uh, if you want to become a PP consultant, what are all things you require? What are all things you need to do it? That's what I would be explaining it to you. And then once we have explained that part, then we'll be jumping into the second part. I will explain you the P2P process, uh, uh, plan to produce pro uh, process, how this process happens. Then in the third part, we'll be jumping into the system. And then at that point, Fazal, who would be the co-trainer for this PP uh, sessions, the new batch of the PP, which we are starting, he would take us through in the system and he will show us one end-to-end -end scenario in the system. Then at the fourth part, we would be jumping into the curriculum that uh, if you want to join as a SAP uh, uh, batch, which we are starting, what is the curriculum we are going to cover? That is the four sections we'll be going to cover. Okay, so this is the journey which you need to get it done. So you who are the individual need to go through these steps, these individual steps which we have mentioned here. These all are the products which we have put it in the bundle. So I'm telling you that what we have done based on our experience from last seven years, I'm doing this training dedicatedly, but overall experience I have more than 10 plus years in the training itself and 20 plus years in the consulting. But I want you to know that uh, when you are going through this, when we are doing this process of the training, from last seven years, we try to understand, I, I personally try to understand more that what is the reason that people want to become a consultant, but they are not able to become. They want to learn the things, but they are not able to learn. They pick it, they lose it. They think it to start it, but they are not able to start it. They start it, but they leave it in between. They do all the things, but they don't get a job. A lot of people who are learning it, but how many people are converting into, into a consultant job? 10 people who, who try for it, hardly one is becoming a consultant. The ratio is 1 raised to 10. So I try to understand. I have done more than 2,000 plus one-to-one -one career counseling. And my focus was always, ki, bhaiya, what is the reason why people are not able to become consultant? Where they are lacking, whether the effort they are putting, there the lack is there or they want to become, why they are not able to put the efforts? What is the reasons? I try to find it out the reasons and step by step, we have evolved our program to make sure we cover all these things where people get failed. Wherever the people get failed, we need to cover all these things. That's why so many, so many products I have introduced in the bundle. That is the reason, right? And then I will take you that what are the things you need to do in this full program and we try to cover each and everything which you require to become a consultant. So the first thing is that a lot of people does not have any background to SAP. So they need to, you need to first learn, ke, yeah, SAP hai kya? what is ERP? Why companies implement ERP? Why companies select SAP? What will happen in SAP? What kind of projects it would be? What kind of your role as a consultant? What end user do? What super user do? What consultant do? What happens in the support project? How the landscape looks like? A lot of things you need to know. What are the different business processes? How the business processes get integrated with each other? Right? And what are the different modules are there? Which modules you would be focusing on? That is the basic information of SAP you need to know. That is we call SAP in nutshell. That is SAP in nutshell to give you the overview of SAP. SAP hack ya. As soon as you enroll, this is a prerequisite course. This is a prerequisite course, which you need to go through it. Overview of SAP S4 HANA. Okay, SAP in a nutshell course. So that you know about SAP. This is somewhere around 10 to 12 self-paced course, self-paced learning course, which we have put it in place. We are expecting our sessions would be starting, the actual core PP session would be starting somewhere around 21st of September. We are expecting in the next two weeks, you should be able to complete this SAP in a nutshell so that you know what is SAP, why SAP, why I am doing it, why companies are implementing SAP. That all the basic knowledge, you should have it, right? So that you should be able to cover it. Even though if you are not able to cover it, we are providing two workshops for this. One is on 14th of September. We are having a SAP workshop to cover the similar content in the three hours of workshop. Then we have on 15th of September, another three hours of workshop is there for the navigation, to cover the navigation the people who are new with SAP. Even though if you are an end user experience, still you need a navigation session. Um, if you are thinking, I am using for SAP for so many years, 
still after working for 10 to 12 years of SAP consulting, there are a lot of navigation skills, which I learned very late. I was not knowing it. So navigation session, if you're working as an end user, core user, you need to attend it so that you understand how to navigate in the system, how to access SAP screens. So these are the two workshops we are doing. This is the first thing you need to do it. And for that, we are also planning a two workshop for them. Let me show you the workshop slide. This is the SAP workshop we are planning to do on uh, 14 September. It's a three hour workshop, 10 minutes break would be there, but we will try to squeeze that course in three hours so that you know the basics. But I would expect each and everyone to go through the course also. But in this workshop, if you have not gone through the course, we will try to say that a sense extract of this course has been given to you, feed it to you in this three hours of workshop. It's not three hours, six hours. Three hours of a uh, workshop will be doing it. That would be the navigation part. We'll be doing it on the 15th of September. Okay. So make sure you attend those two workshop and make sure in the next two weeks, almost two weeks you have, you complete the first prerequisite course that SAP in a nutshell. Okay. So once you have completed this course, once you have completed this course, the next thing you need to know is finding your learning buddy. Finding your learning buddy. This is a small step. We have a telegram community for it where we have 100 plus SAP PP aspirants. Many of them have been already converted into the jobs. They are working. They are kind of an alumni for us. They are working as a consultants after getting a training from us. You can also get connected with them. Okay. You can also get connected with them. The telegram channel right now, which has been shared in the chat, that is a public channel. What I am talking about is a dedicated PP channel, which you would be getting access once you are enrolled. So you need to jump into that channel and you need to ask that boss, I am the one who is learning PP. I am from this particular country or working in this particular time zone. And this is my brief experience. And I want to look for a learning buddy who can be the learning buddy for me. Try to find it out your learning buddies there. What will happen with the learning buddy? It's, you know what, why we are putting these things in place? Because what I have seen in my 2000 plus interviews, which I have done one-to-one -one in the career counseling to identify why people are not able to become, a lot of cases I find where people have started the thing and they have left it. Start here with a lot of passion, but they have left it. They have not completed it. More than 50% of the audience are there, not able to succeed because they left in between. So what I understand one thing, to do this learning, you need a lot of motivation. You need a lot of discipline. You need a lot of monitoring also. Ask yourself, right? A lot of things you need to improve in yourself, which is for the self-improvement, which is the utmost important for you. You want to do it, whether it's for your education, whether it's for your goals, whether it's for your health, you would not be able to do it. But any XYZ task has been given into, to you, to the organization in the company, you will work 12 hours, 14 hours to get it completed. You will get it completed. But something which is important for yourself, you will not be able to do it. You will not be able to focus as one week, two week you will do, then it will go into some sidetrack. It will be dropped for the weeks. Why? Because you are not into the channel where basically you have monitoring, you have control, that proper channel is not there. Monitoring and control channel is not there. That's where basically you lose the motivation and the things goes into the back end. Where basically nobody is monitoring. I need not to answer anyone, right? So that's where happen. 95% of the self-paced courses are failure. People start 95 out of 100, 95 people are not able to complete the self-paced courses. That's why we do a lot of live trainings to motivate you, right? It's important. Discipline, motivation is important. Learning cannot happen at the low energy. You need to be at the high end of the energy if you want to learn something. Okay, with Ubasya Lete Hue and uh, sitting like this, this learning will not happen. You'll have to high in energy. You'll have to be high in energy. If you agree with me that you need to be high in energy when you are learning, put high, H-I-G-H, high in the chat window. Show your presence quickly, H-I-G-H in the chat window. If you agree with me, you need to be high in energy when you are learning something. And energy get multiplies. Thank you for the responses. Energy get multiplies when you interact with the people. 
that we follow a lot when we are doing when we were kid when we were studying in in the uh, schools also we need to have some buddies right we go to their house they come to our house and we used to learn together you have some monitoring you have some check and sometimes you just need another person to discuss the things with you and things get progress two people can complement each other two people can motivate each other that's where you need to find learning buddies i started this one in the experimental mode and when i'm taking the success stories people are coming and telling me this is this is one thing which has been changed because they were having a learning buddy they were having every two uh, uh, every week two twice or thrice call with them they were checking what assignment they are doing where they are lacking people are helping each other a very good learning environment has been built you know why you spend a lot of money going into the schools why you spend a lot of money going into the colleges going into the mba schools because you need a m ambience you need an environment right you need a group of people that's important that environment is important that that develop you right so that community is important that's the community you are getting it from here and that community is very important right so that is the second step which you need to do find your learning buddy and learn together with someone then we coming this is the major course which we have if you talk about a pp as a skill set this is a major course but that is a problem people have people think ki bhaiya i need to know as a pp as a module then i am a consultant no to become a consultant you need to do a lot of things you need to learn a lot of things beyond only understanding pp as a module right a lot of other things also you need to know but yeah that is important ki at least pp as a module that is the first thing you should know right so that's where we put the focus and we have here dynamic course content the recorded videos which you get as soon as you enroll for the course you get all the recorded videos plus the live sessions which we are doing right now these kind of live sessions would be there for pp we will be doing saturday evenings and sunday evenings we'll be doing the live sessions saturday evenings sunday evenings we'll be doing the live sessions for the pp okay so live sessions would be there and you also have a recorded session we have somewhere around content which is around 50 hours of recorded content is there and we cover 40 hours of the live sessions in all of the batches it goes beyond 40 hours but our commitment to give you 40 hours of live training on the pp side there are some videos which you need to go through the recorded part okay so that is where basically you would be learning pp as a module with all the business scenarios with all the master data configurations why you need to do it why business require this how to do it assignments would be given to you system access would be there with you you would be doing hands on when you whenever you are having a problem you can always ask the trainer into the saturday and sunday sessions or you can also ask the community community is very helpful they are so good people are there question come before i answer before my another co trainers answers already people who are going through they answer that that's the help of the community okay you would be learning more than asking the questions than answering the other people question if you have done some topic and somebody is ans asking some question around this topic and you answer it and he said okay based on this answer i am done your level of confidence will boost up right that is the power of community right so this is where basically a continuous interaction with the community would be there but this is the core course you need to get it completed with hands on and with assignment it's important once you have completed this course and i would target it once you have 70% completed this course you need to go ahead and craft your cv bhaiya this is another problem people i saw people <laughs> preparing for so many years and they have never prepared their cv i have seen so many pv cvs that are so pathetic in nature if they go into the market they will not attract any job so creating a cv itself is a skill set creating a good cv is a skill set which we understand you need to a lot of help that's where basically we have put it this is a small self paced course of 3 hours with cv templates are there and reference cvs are also available template cvs and reference cvs are available which you would be able to go through and which you would be able to prepare your cv with this course and i don't want you to finish this one completely even 60 to 70% you have completed this part you can start parallelly the cv preparation also okay prepare your cv now bhaiya you have prepared your cv 
Now you want someone to review your CV. You have a mentor. You you have this. You have a trainer here. You have a buddy here. Then we give more monitoring to you. Then we also have a mentor. This mentoring part we have not started with PP, but we want to start and will be starting it very soon. The mentorship part will be starting it very soon. For the PP part, you would be having a mentor. You would be able to book a call with your mentor. And with the booking your call with the mentor, I think we have started. I'm not very sure. Last week there was a discussion. It we need to went live. But if it, if it does not go on live in next one month, it will be live. So you need to book a call with your mentor, and you would be able to review your CV with your mentor. And a lot of things you can discuss with your mentor. Sometimes you are feeling low. Sometimes you are feeling like, yeah, I am not able to do it. I don't know what I am missing, but I am not able to cop up. There is something I need to do. You need to talk with someone. A lot of places, people quit when they get the feeling. We want you, when you are getting this feeling, yeah, it is not happening, something is wrong. You need to book a call with mentor. Have a discussion with them. They would motivate you. They can reference your, they can review your CVs. They can suggest you what you think you need to do, right? If you're not getting interview calls, what are the changes you need to do in your CVs? That things they would be able to guide you. They would also be able to review your assignments if it is required or any other issues you are facing. They can be helpful for you. So you can book a call with them. This is on-demand call. You will be going into this product and booking your call with your mentors. That would be doing. So you have a trainer, you have a mentor, and you also have a buddy. All the equipped, equipped resources, we are giving it to you so that yeah, you complete it. You don't fell down from your goal and we support you and we push you wherever it is required. Even for these sessions also, and no other institute does it, we try to give you a phone call, a reminder phone call. Ki, yeah, we are starting the live session. Please join it. Trying to give you a WhatsApp message, people who are outside the country. Trying to send you a message over the email. Trying to send you uh, messages on the Telegram group. We have a session tomorrow. Boss, please join it. Try to push you so that you don't miss the things. What we want is not that taking a money from you and roll a course. Okay, tada, bye bye, good. Our aim is not to train you on your PP. Our aim is not you to uh, get the interviews done. Our aim is not to make you selected in the interviews. Our aim is that that you should be able to select in the interviews and work as a consultant. As an independent consultant, you should be able to work. And then people should ask, come and ask, ki, bhaiya, Mr. XYZ, you, Mr. Dixit, you looks very different. How come you are different from the another consultant? And then you can say, I'm a product of Sastra Geek. That's what our vision is. That's why we want you to take it. That's why I'm putting a lot of things, bundling it together and making a wholesome package which require for you. Okay, I will be discussing what more things we have put it for you. Each, every single thing we have thought, ki bhaiya, people are missing the session. Why? They need a push. Let's give a push from our side. Let's give them a call. Please join, my dear friend. Please join. He who has spent the money, please utilize. <laughs> right? Okay, so you have this mentor. Now, let me ask you, what do you think? I have spoken a lot. Let me ask you, what do you think? What is the major challenge? What you see, ki bhaiya, why uh, one guy who is trying to uh, get himself trained on SAP module as a PP, but he's still not able to get a job. He's still, need, he's still not able to become a consultant. What is the problem? What do you think? What is the problem? Lack of self-preparation and practice, Yogesh said. Okay, that's good. How about others? Lack of dedications, lack of inconsistency, lack of communication skills. Very good. That's good. Communication, I have not put it in this part. Communication we have included in another program which we are doing. We have recently launched it. That's a one-year program. I will explain you at the, at the end. In that roadmap, we have a communication improvements. Gap between trainings and what industry looks for. You have been trained on something, but industry is looking on something, right? <laughs> yeah, that can be. So the one of the biggest gap, which I have found, thank you for all of your inputs, but one of the biggest gap, which I have found, he, when you get trained and after the training, when you go into the job market, a lot of people say, ki bhaiya, jobs are not there. We are not getting the MQ calls. Nobody wants freshers. Everybody wants trained and skilled people. 
but that is the true that is a true although i will not say that there is a zero job for the freshers there are some companies giving opportunities to freshers also but people prefer to have a ready resources resources who can be directly put it onto the projects that's where most of the job requirements if you search on the nokri indeed linkedin they have in the job description one to two end to end implementation two plus end to end implementation support project experience end to end implementation is the one which so many people are mentioning 70% of the job description you will find it end to end implementation so they want people who have already exposure to the implementation why they want because you need to understand you are handling a software which is a mission critical software for a company for a fortune 500 company who is working on sap their full business is dependent on sap if something happens to their pumping heart which is sap or erp system the full business can collapse the full business can stop okay because if something wrong happens so they want to make sure their processes who is implementing developing their processes who is handling their pumping heart should be experienced enough they don't want to give it to an experienced people that is one of the reason so you need to skill up yourself only learning sap and then going into the market maine kahin kaam nahi kiya i have not worked anywhere please take me will not work although if you have operations experience for a functional consultant operation experience helps a lot it helps a lot i came from the operation background and that my operation experience helped me a lot to do the consulting right so that's where basically we have added a product which is implementation and support project exposure this product is 60 to 70 hours of self paced course where i've started with one of the project which i have implemented starting from the first thing discover phase prepare phase realize phase everything with the documentation business blueprint document rcfw function specifications bps bodies idocs what all the additional things you need to know configuration documents training testing cut over everything has been included here step by step phase by phase including the support part so that here you are getting the knowledge and this part you are converting the knowledge into the practical exposure how practically your knowledge would be used that is the conversion of your knowledge into the practice knowledge into the practice that's the conversion we are doing that is the first thing which i realized i need to put it in place when i was talking to so many people and finding here yeah, yeah, people are not people are getting trained but consultant they are not becoming it right that's where i understand this this course is required implementation exposure we need to go give and it's not four hours of sessions patak 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 i have seen other people who are doing four to five hours they will tell everything this is 60 to 70 hours in depth going into each of the documentation bvp how to prepare sample document reference document what is the business requirement for this business requirement how it need to be built function specification for a form for a report how you would be building it covered in this we get such a huge response from this that people get a lot of benefit from it then we scaled up this one also i will let you know what is the scale up of this but this is what i i found that a lot of things is missing people are getting trained technically but they are not able to convert their technical knowledge into the consulting knowledge that how this knowledge need to be used for the consulting right that is a thing missing which we are trying to provide you from this course and this was 4 years ago this was my dream project to get it done and we have delivered it and people get a lot of benefit from the the course name is sap job and mastery and it was a separate paid course almost 25000 rupees but when i see that people are actually getting benefited from it this is what they need i made this course free complimentary and we are giving this as a complimentary with the mastery course itself if you buy the mastery bundle this this all things are complimentary not this one i will explain what is this but this all is the complimentary so once you also so you got the basics of sap you got your buddy you got your trainer you did the live session you know the pp you got your mentor you prepared your cv you converted your technical knowledge into the implementation knowledge practical knowledge you have converted now it's a time to prepare for the interviews now this is the time to prepare for the interviews and we have another product for it 
prepare for SAP interviews, PP interview questions, we have a, so here we have some videos which would be guiding you how you can prepare for interview. Okay. Let me ask you, what is a big mistake people do? What is a big mistake people do in the interviews? Quickly. What do you think? What mistake people are doing in the interviews? Quickly over the chat. If you will give, yeah, I have never given an interview. Mujhe nahi pata. Put an I, but put something. Quickly. What is the big mistake people do in the interviews? Quickly. If you don't know, put an I, but put something. Bring your focus back. NI is a good answer. As soon as you type NI, means no idea, your brain automatically get ready conscious. Ki, yeah, I have put it NI, no idea. Now I need to capture the idea, right? So quickly, only four responses from 30. Quickly. What is the basic problem? What is the basic mistake people are doing in the interviews? Quickly, let me know. Okay. CV preparation, they don't know what should be answered. Okay, no preparation with examples. Interview should be given as a consultant perspective. Consultant perspective is missing. Not prepared for the interview. They are not prepared for the interview. That's right, people are taking the interview very lightly. They are not preparing it well. You need to prepare it well. And how you need to prepare, we have covered, we have put it some videos which will help you to prepare for the interviews. Even the basic to basic thing, that how you need to professionally behave in an interview, that is also missing. I have seen people taking the interviews, walking in the lawn on the mobile phone, people taking the interview, sitting into the stairs somewhere. Okay, uh, you need to showcase that this is important to you. So take the interview in a professional manner. Okay, you should be having a quiet place, sit in the front of the laptop, switch on your camera, right? And sit on a table and chair professionally with the professional clothing, that impacts a lot. That shows that how serious you are about this job. Believe me or not, I have a lot of requirements in Sastragi. We have taken the people, a good people in the interviews and the client has rejected by saying that guy has not taken the interview in a professional manner. He was sitting somewhere which was a very noisy place. So this is a remote working position. If he is not able to have a proper interview place, how he would be working? He would be having three to four hours of call on daily basis with that noisy environment. How is expected to work? He does not have a proper working space. It's by saying that 15 plus years of experience candidates also rejected. Second problem, the first question would be coming, boss, explain yourself, introduce yourself. That's the people are doing a lot of mistakes. They don't know what to be tell. They have not researched enough that the interviewer who is sitting, what he needs. You need to speak what he needs, right? You need to prepare for it. Okay, you are going into the SAP interview and you are explaining all of your operations experience, which does not complement your consulting ones. That is not you should speak. You should speak the focus area which the guy need and you need to speak those things which would be so that you can drag the interviewer to the questions which you know the areas which you know, you need to drag the interviewer to there, right? Believe me or not, you are selected in first five to 10 minutes of your interview. Either you are selected or you are rejected. At the back end, at the unconscious mind of the interviewer, you are already selected or rejected in first five to 10 minutes. Then rest 20 minutes or rest 50 minutes, they find the reasons why to select you or why to reject you. They ask the question to find a reason why to select you or why to reject you. But their unconscious mind in the first five to 10 minutes have either selected you or rejected you, right? So that's important, prepare well. And a lot of interview questions which has been asked, you, you would be getting it from this space so that you can prepare for your interviews, okay? Yeah, I am prepared for my interview, sir. I have done everything. Now, but still, I don't feel confident. Okay, that's okay. Give a mock interview. We have a service for you where we have an interviewer who would be taking a mock interview for you. You go into this product and book your mock interview session, 30 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes would be interview and last five minutes will be the feedback to you. Okay, so that is the place you need to work. You can go give the mock interview, but 
you can keep giving interview outside also don't hesitate to get it rejected each rejection in your interview is a success step is a success step i have a lot of people who does not have any background any operations experience no technical experience they jump into the sap it was tough for them i push them nahi bhaiya go you are not you need not to be 100% prepared you will be never 100% prepared in pp module there are a lot of things after 20 years of experience even i don't know if somebody would be asking i would not be able to answer it i have done something 15 years ago how can i remember now right and module is so wide you cannot uh, remember each and everything each every field what does it means it's not required to become a consultant that's another pop problem people get stuck ko mujhe ye bhi aana chahiye i need to know this i need to know this i need to know this not required when you are implementing pp as a module only 10 to 15% functionality is used in a project not more than that for a for a one module sap is very wide so many functionalities are there it does not mean each and every functionality you need to know i did my preparation spending 4 lakh rupees in jaipur preparing for sap authorized institutes and believe me whatever the content i have learned there from the big four sap books 70% of the content i have even not used today also 70% of the content which i have read gone through i have never used it practically right that's where basically there is a lot of things you need to make sure you go for the interviews you are getting rejected it's okay note down the questions note down the questions note down the questions prepare for it prepare for it after fourth or fifth interviews you will see 50% of the interview questions are repeating if you answer 60% of your questions very confidently there is a high chances you will get selected and in fifth or sixth interview 50% questions are repeated one so you need to answer only 10% questions extra okay only two question extra you need to answer correctly to get it selected so don't worry about the rejections okay you can give the mock interviews or you can initial two three interviews you can consider it's a mock interview for you not a problem <clears throat> but be available in the market and prepare yourself well then here we have put it certifications personally i was thinking that i should put a certification here at the end a lot of people have a wrong way of doing the things okay a lot of people have wrong way they are learning here and from here nahi sir pehle sap certificate i need to do for that i need to read the four big books i need to prepare myself they start with the first book they learn it for 2 3 weeks and then there is something project work come personal things come they lose the track for one month oh again i need to start they start again for the first book four big 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 bulky books has been given i have seen personally a lot of good students i know that this guy can become a consultant but he is not becoming because he got stuck on to this big four books bhaiya ye sara padhna hai mere ko if i need to be a sap consultant not required that is required for the certification we have a very different approach for the certification when you will go into this product you will find it out what is our approach for the certification but you need to understand one thing putting a exposure putting a experience has 10 times more weightage in your cv than a certification so that's why these things you need to do more these things you need to do it which will bring the actual experience <clears throat> the certification can put you into a interview that is also when they are looking for freshers and it you your profile can be filtered out because you have you are certified right but it cannot clear your interview interview clearing can require a lot of knowledge right <clears throat> and there also you are certified other people is showing i have done one and two in implementation your profile would be selected back that guy would be given first chance <clears throat> that's where this is optional although i recommend getting a certified that's my personal recommendation but it's not necessary that at the start of the career itself you need to certify yourself we have a product for it we sell for it right but i want to make sure i guide you correctly so certification you can do even after getting a job also it's important there are some countries if you are working in us or europe the important of certification would be more if you are working in india importance of certification is less so it is also dependent on country to country also 
But whether it's Europe, whether it's US, the experience is more weighted than certification, right? So make sure that you get experience first before getting certified. This is a product which will help you to clear your certification. We have a mock test series by which you would be able to know that what are the different uh, um, what are the different uh, questions has been asked in in the certification, and you would be able to prepare for them. Then we know that when you would be going and learning SAP PP, you need to know a lot of things, other things, a lot of additional things you need to know. Sometimes, especially in the US market, in Europe market, they're asking for PP consultant, but MM knowledge also should be there. You should be also knowing <clears throat> little bit of transport management, little bit of EWM, you should be knowing it. Little bit of other modules, you should be knowing it. MDG, you should be knowing it. A lot of other things they will also put. Although they are not expecting your expertise in all those modules, they are expecting your expertise in one or two modules and other modules you have a brief idea so that you can discuss if something comes from the clients, you would be able to discuss it and pass the information to the relevant teams. So we understand while you would be working as a consultant, we understand while you would be uh, uh, giving uh, the interviews, there would be some specific things you need to know we have given 200 plus hours of videos for that. If you want a MM overview, available here. FIC overview, available here. MDG, if you want to know here, what is MDG, available here. Customer service, you want to know, available here. You want to know what is enable now. Enable now would be used in your project, available here. Signavio would be used in your project, available here. You need to know about APIs. You need to know about how AI would be changing the functional consultant job. All these things are available here, additional videos. This is not, you need to go top from bottom. These are the additional courses. You can go ad hoc basis whenever it's required. Whenever it's required, you would be able to go through with these courses. Okay. Then we have this server access. But yeah, everybody gives the server access. We are also giving three months. Why a specific product for it? Because this product has also some videos in it. We understand when you'll be working on server, you will get stuck with some things, right? So basic issues, we have put it small, small videos. You are a PP guy, but you got stuck with the finance error, how to resolve it. We have put it a small video so that you can get your self-help to resolve your issues in the server. There are some things available that if you spend three hours of time on this video, you would be able to set up your company code, your plant, your story locations, your materials, okay, <clears throat> your bill of material, your production versions, your routings, with all of your data, with your configurations, you would be able to run end-to-end -end PP scenario with your product cost estimate in the system within three hours. Not even experienced people, if the box has been given, empty box has been given, they would not be able to do it. But with the help of these videos, you would be able to do it just in three hours. That itself is a big achievement. Many people would not, would never have done, even experienced people end to end, starting from company code till the uh, uh, doing the production taco with their own hands. Following these videos, you will be able to do it. Although in this course also will be guiding you how to do it. But from this, you can find a quick videos to set up your system. Okay. Then. Uh, a lot of new things we are doing it. This is another thing. I am giving you the mind maps library, which I have created and the content library. We are creating a lot of content. Now, the thing is that on a PP itself, I can do 300 to 400 hours of training. Module is that big, that deep. Okay. But if I do 300 to 400 hours of training, no one would be able to withstand. Even 40 hours of training, people start oh, this is too much, right? But the module is too much, too big, too deep, right? We understand when you're working on the projects, you would be requiring a lot of additional things. When you're giving for specific interview, they need specific details in the specific areas. Each and everything we cannot cover in the live session. This is kind of a boot camp. This is kind of a big push to you, right? But then you need to learn a lot of things on your own. I cannot spoon feed everything to you as a consultant, the experienced consultant, even 
I am a 20 years of consultant. I am working in a PP project, uh, 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 new project I have started two months back. I also need to learn a lot of new things. Every project is new things. I need to learn. I need to do a lot of exposure, uh, uh, go through the Google, try to search for the things, go to the SAP website, try to read the things. A lot of new things has come up, right? A consultant is explorative in nature. You need to explore a lot by yourself. What help we are giving it to you before you go to Google, we are giving a lot of documentations here that when you are working in a project and if you get stuck with something or when you're going into the interviews and they mention something specific which they are looking for, you can go into this, you can read out the things. Whenever you have a free time, you can just go into there, go through the mind maps, read some content which is available there. This is, we started three months back. We have now completed with the mind maps is available few documents which is available here. I think 10 to 15 documents we have uploaded, but in next three months, our target is to put it 100 scenario specific documents with SAP screenshots so that it can help you in the various areas where you need to explore more yourself, right? Let me give you the glimpse of it, this product. This is the recent one. My whole team is working on it and I really love it. You know, these are the things when I was working as a consultant, I sometimes miss here, which information, if I get it, I would be able to things do my things faster. And uh, let me take you there. <clears throat> so, this is a bundle. Okay, this is the bundle. All this is the part of the mastery bundle. This is the link which has been given to you. You can enroll. And all these things are included in this bundle. All these products have been included in this bundle. And this is the mind map library I was talking about. I hope I have access to this course. Looks like I have. So let's say if you are working into the planning strategy, right? You would be knowing that how planning strategies are important. There is no interview where a question has not been asked related to the planning strategy. Okay, and this is so confusing. Before going to interview, you need to revise once. Give you quickly 10, what is the things? 20, what are these things? 40, what is the things? Otherwise, if you have not did, did a quick revision, always in interviews, you will fumble and you will answer something wrong. It is not that easy. It's a complex thing, right? So I have created a mind map, which I use to train you, but I have also given this mind map so that before giving the interview, if you can quickly go through this mind map with the screenshot, everything has been explained with the example. Within two minutes, everything will refresh in your mind. You will be able to understand, okay, this is strategy 40. This is strategy 20. This is strategy 10. With this mind map, you would be able to quickly revise it. And then you will be going in the, con in the interview with the confidence and you would be able to speak the things with the confidence. It is not always answering right. It is all. It is more important to answer right confidently. Many times what will happen, even interviewer, because I also take the interviews, many times even I don't know the answer. I ask some question, I don't know the answer. What I am checking, how confident the guy is or how he is approaching towards the solution, how he is thinking, how he is approaching to the question. So that kind of mind maps are available, which we can explore. Mind maps are available from last... Uh, couple of months we have already added all the mind maps here now we are working on to this documentation uh, let's say we go through these other documentations configure bill of materials let me try to go this what is bomb how you can configure bill of materials that is the documentation which is available here okay what are the control parameters you need to do it for the configuring the bill of material? I'm going here into the full screen mode. You can go it here and then we can go into this. These are the parameters which you need to set it up in the bill of material. Now, but yeah, some technologies, terminology, if it is bouncing, wait, when we go into the details, we'll be explaining what is bill of material. Bill of material is nothing that which components is required to produce a material. That structure of the components is called bill of material. And we need to do some configuration in the system. This is step by step from the path, from the screenshot. What are the things we need to set it up? Okay. What is the uh, uh, meaning of each of the things? In detail, we have explained with the screenshots. 
okay what are the important things are there when you are setting up the bill of uh, materials everything with the step by step it has been shown here okay so if we cover each of the thing in that details again it would be for 400 hours of training which we don't want okay there are some things when you will be working on to the project you would be exploring more but what we want here even during your training you can come here try to spend whenever you have free time just open one documentation and just go through it so that you know that okay this kind of things can happen many times in a project when you are delivering and discussing with the client if you know okay this can happen okay how this would be happening is not that important you should have in your mindset that this is a process and this is can happen how it will happen you can get it always from this kind of documentations so this will give you very good and very detailed document it's not a small documentation it's a very detailed documentation this would be more than uh, 100 uh, pages documentation which we have created going step by step which each of the details which you need to set it up right this kind of the documents which you are preparing which will be helping a lot in future to you while doing the training in even after the training we have a people who every year they are they are working as a consultant but they keep on subscribing our courses because we are keep on adding such a important content which is not available other places okay so this would be the game changer for you and we are putting hell lot of efforts and the price is that much that little price we are charging hardly it is covering my cost if you see for sap all of these things they just give 10% of it and they charge 10 times, two and a half lakh to three lakh rupees they charge. So I need to also increase the course fees. We are not increasing now. But after one month, I will be increasing everything because a lot of team effort is going to put all this content together and give it to you. Mentors, we are putting it. We also pay to the mentors. We also pay to the co-trainers. We also spend a lot of things to give you a phone call, to send automatic WhatsApp messages. A lot of efforts are there. A lot of... Uh, uh, things we need to develop at the back end for this, right? So that is the game changing product. Okay. So now the other thing. Now I told you that this I started four years ago. And then three years ago, when we found the benefit out of it, three years ago, we started this program, SAP internship. Now, what is this program? This program you would be getting if you are, if you have two bundles you have purchased from us, if you have access to two bundles, you would be getting this complimentary. Neither we pay for this internship, neither we charge for it. And neither whatever the work you will be doing in this internship, any client would be paying for me. It's all my efforts. Okay. And we don't charge for those efforts. We want to give it complimentary, but we want to give the complimentary to only to our students because otherwise I have 2000 plus application. I need some criteria to bring the people. I can, in a batch of internship, I can bring the 25 people maximum, right? So the criteria is you should be having a mastery and excellence bundle or any two bundles you should purchase from Sastra Geek. And you, you should be committed to give 20 hours per week to complete the assignments. You can work online. You can work from wherever you want to do it. You can do your existing job and do the internship. You can work over the weekend for the assignments which has been given to you. Okay. But you need to be committed to complete the assignments. You should be completed this course. The S for HANA PP course, you should be completed the basic course. Then you would be ready for the internship. In internship, what I do right now, we have a project going on RJ Cotton. We are implementing SAP for it. Last project we have done is a rubber roller. We have implemented for it. Next, we are going for the automobile company implementing uh, SAP for it, right? So I would be explaining the companies where I have worked on to the implementation. I would be explaining the full business to you. What business, how many manufacturing plant, warehouses, distribution centers. Okay, what manufacturing units they have? What is the raw materials? What is the final products? How they sell the final products? Full business scenario I would be explaining you. And in a team, there would be SD, MM, PP, FICO, ABAP, project manager, solution architect, and in individual tracks, there would be the track leads would be there. Full project hierarchy structure would be there, which you would be working in. And with the given assignments, you need to make sure starting from the first phase, you need to implement the full project for that given scenario with help of another consultants. 
starting with a fit and gap discussion. Fit and gap discussion will happen with me, myself, and one another guy. You would be acting as a business, as a consultant. You need to prepare your questionnaire and ask the questions to us. Then I help you that what question you are asking wrong, in which way you need to ask the question, which questions you need to ask, that all guidance I would be giving it. Then you would be doing as is versus to be's, process flow diagrams you would be preparing, business blueprint diagram you would be preparing, sorry, BVP documents you will be preparing it, business blueprint documents. You would be preparing the configuration documents. You will be doing configuration in the system. You would be preparing your RICEFW list. Then you would be working on your functional specifications, right? And once you prepare your functional specification, you would be working with our BAP team to get those development done, done, get the testing done, prepare your test plan, test scenarios, do the cutover activities and complete everything. That is a place where basically this is where you got the theoretical knowledge. Uh, I would not say theoretical knowledge, but the knowledge from a videos you are watching. This is the hands-on of this session. This is, you would be sitting in a group as a consultant, doing all the things which a consultant need to do. That give you a lot of exposure. That give you a lot of things to put in your CV. That give you a lot of things to speak in your interview. Otherwise, what you will speak in the interviews, right? That all exposure. And we don't restrict the people. If you are putting the efforts, you can even join for the two internship batches, three internship batches. You should be having access to our server. If you have that and if you are putting efforts, we don't stop you. Get the exposure. Because of these exposures, people were able to show five to six years of experience, not the fake experience. I will let you know how the experience need to be shown, not the fake experience. You are putting a lot of efforts, a lot of hours you, you are putting in this whole doing this, right? Those efforts need to resemble in your CV. And that is the art also. How this effort would be resembling in your CV, that is also art, which I have explained in this part. Crafting your uh, standout CV. That's the people face gave here. I have never worked it. How can I show the experience? That is the you need to do. You have work it. You have spent hours, hours, hours in this full part. If you will do 200 to 300 hours minimum, you will spend to complete the assignments and to do all of these things. These 300 hours need to be counted and go into your CV. How would be explained here? So this is very important. This is where basically it is creating a lot of uh, benefit for the people. And now we have started one more thing. Last three weeks ago, we started with one year program. This one year program is very specific program. This is through interview process. We'll be taking your interview. I cannot enroll everyone in this. This one, we need a commitment of 40 hours per week, which means you would be considered, you would actually be working with Sastra Geek Solution. Not everyone can do it. This is only for the people who are not working. It can fit for the people who have the career gaps. For the freshers, they have passed out, but they don't have any job. This can fit in. You would be working for one year with Sastra Geek Solution, but this is only open for the Diamond members. If you are Diamond members, you would be able to go through this process. If you feel that you are the right one for this one, you would be giving chance. We'll be giving you offer also for this. And after six months, once you have completed six months in this, we would be also paying you monthly internship for this program. So that with the salary slip, the things are going in in your <clears throat> in your bank accounts, right? So on the monthly basis, we'll be giving. The idea is that during this part, after six months, we'll try to put your CVs into our clients, try to give you a project work. If you enroll into a project and if you perform for two months in the project, then we'll be giving you an offer letter with the consultant level. A consultant level offer letter would be given and a proper salary will get started for you. Or the idea is that if you are not absorbed within the Sastar Geek projects, you would be able to apply outside. And now you have a one year of experience exposure. And during this experience exposure, we'll do a lot of monitoring, a lot of additional trainings. You would be doing a shadow work for a consultant, sitting with him, understanding what he is doing. And we'll also try to give small, small, small project examples, which you can do it in the system. We'll be working on your communication skills. We'll be working on to your... Uh, office tools, presentation skills, uh, you need to give a presentation every week. There would be a 15 minute session, you need to come and report what you are working today, what you would be working tomorrow, complete 
intensive controlling and monitoring would be there. Right? So we'll be working in this one year to make you a full-fledged consultant, improving your communications, improving your technical skills, improving your presenting skills, and the most important, improving your consulting skills. That all things we will be doing it so that within the Sastra Geek, you can do the consulting for, the, for our clients, or you can go out and try to take a job offers on the open market also. You can give one month of notice period and go outside and also do a job outside with this one year of, exp one year of experience. Okay, so that is what we, we offer. Okay, and this is the path we need to follow. This would be only suiting for the specific candidates, not for everyone, but the above program can be suited for anyone. Okay. So this is what the journey should be there. Now I will let you know one thing, you know, a lot of people come and they said that Ki, I met my friend, he said, Ki, bhiya, she plays go and uh, it would be very good. You will be getting opportunity. I try to learn from you to me. I went into the YouTube and I had a session with my friend or I went to four Institute. They did a 25 hour PP sessions with me. <clears throat> Becoming a consultant is not that easy. It's very lucrative job. It's very respectful job. People look forward to a consultant that he is the master of the things, right? And he, what he would be telling is, is the best thing we need to do it, right? He know all the things. People look forward to the consultant with a lot of respect. They expect from the consultant that he has a lot of knowledge, which he can easily transplant to the business operations. And he can do a very good business discussion with the business operations, right? It's not always easy to become a consultant. Okay. It is not a cake walk. It is a tough walk. Only people who would be able to show the determination, who would be able to put the efforts, who would be able to show the disciplines, okay, and who would be able to consistently work on this path would be able to become consultant. Okay. I can give you, if you have a decent communication, if you follow this path, I cannot see anyone who would not be able to become a consultant. But going through this path would not be easy. We have put it all the resources given to you so that you are equipped well, you are supported well, you have mentors, you have a discipline, you have a monitoring, you have a control, you have a push. Everything we are doing from here for you, but the actions need to be taken by you. If you are the action taker, if you can take the quick actions, okay, this is what I need to do and I would be doing and I would be doing for today. There's no tomorrow for it. If you are the kind of person, you can become a consultant. If you are the person who will say, okay, I will think again. Let me think after a week. Let me think what happened after 15 days. <clears throat> Let me start something, go through one video, then I will think about. Then this game will is not for you. Then this game is not for you. Don't waste your time. Okay. If you're going for this one, go with full throttle. Don't go with half mind because it needs actually a lot of efforts. I have made sure that this plan you can do with your existing jobs also. You can continue with your jobs and you would still be able to do it. But a lot of additional efforts will come. When you're going through this path for five to six months, you should forget about uh, watching the movies sometime, uh, uh, sleeping over the weekends. Okay, all these things you need to cut it off. Your Instagram time, your Facebook time, everything you need to cut it off. You need to sacrifice a lot to become a consultant for this path. If you can do it, we are here to support you. Okay, now this was the first section. I want to make sure that I'm not selling here the dreams. I want to show you the actual picture, what is there, right? What you need it and actual path. And I see that a lot of people are missing in this path. Okay, they are doing something here, something there, but they are not on the path. At least after this session, you should know that what you need to do to become SAP PP consultant. Now I would jump into the second part where basically first I will go through the SAP PP production plan. I will show you one end to end plan to produce process. Then I will introduce you to Fazel and Fazel will be taking you into the SAP screens to do some transaction and explain that how the SAP screens look like and how we'll be doing this transaction in SAP. Okay. And then I will let you know the schedule of it. <clears throat>